What is happening, out of the park baseball fans? How is everybody out there in uh, in baseball world? It's good to be here. It is good to see all of our friends here tonight. Welcome everybody, as always, in the Big Rich Machine. We have the man who's really making everything happen, Mr. Alex Murray. Alex, how are you, sir? I'm doing good, Rich. It's been a good week so far. Ready to see what we can do with the Reds tonight. We've got a couple of good series to go through. And then technically, um, on the 2nd of July, we're going to be looking into a international uh, amateur free agency beginning. So we might we might take a little glance at that list, see if there's anybody that sparks our interest. But uh, today is going to be about trying to make sure that we can bounce back and keep the offense rolling like we did in our last stream last week That's where we right. just completely took it to the cubbies and that was that was good that, that was, was actually, good uh, that was absolutely that, uh, what we needed that absolutely. was necessary last week we really badly needed that yes what's going on coach what's up hedges glad to see you tuning in live for the first time ever that's awesome thank you for being here cardinals fan rorty it's great to have everybody here tonight um so yeah we're gonna just jump we're gonna jump right in, right? We're not wasting any time. Yeah. Not that we ever would Let's anyway. Do it. But we're just getting right in here. So here's the situation. The Reds are four games behind the Pirates in the division. They are two games behind the Mets in the wild card. It's yes. right there in our hands. Everything we need, it's right there in our hands. So all we gotta it's do to lose. All we gotta do is just make a few good things happen. So what we're doing, and it is June twenty eighth, right? So what we're gonna do today for starters, right? Is we're just going to blast through this three-game set with the uh, with the Braves, and we're going to get right into July first, right? That's where we're yes. going to go right now. So yeah, we're, so should I just? We're not really going to. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, should I just finish the day and boom bang through these, or do you want to look at some lineups or anything first? What do you Let's review do? the lineups and make sure that we're going to be throwing our best possible people out there. I, I would like to keep us competitive if possible, but sure. again, these these are the what are they first place Braves? Yeah. I was assuming they're first place. Actually, no, they're not potentially, um, but they are definitely a very good team. This Braves team is scary good. They um, are not in first place by any stretch, but they're over five hundred, and they're the, they're yeah. the Braves. And they're in a tough division with the Mets having a really good season out of nowhere. I mean, when the Marlins are almost 500, you out know it's going to be a tough <laughs> Out of nowhere? You think you're just oh, going to like, you're gonna th throw that right by me and I'm We're just, just going to Oh, yeah, just going to throw the curveball by you and be like, yeah, the Marlins are almost 500. But you know what? Hey, let's move nowhere. on about Come that. On. Enough about the Marlins, you know? <laughs> anyway. This National League has been ridiculous this yes. year, Rich. I mean... I, you could never have told me that in the worst team in the National League Central would be the Brewers and Cubbies, and the Marlins would be 500, and the Padres would be looking like the what 2000 and well, oh my gosh, like well, like the Padres right. for the past 20 years or so. Um, good grief! And then the Dodgers are up around 700 winning percentage still. I'm guessing I, it's just ridiculous at this point. So, so yeah, either way. We don't really we don't really mind uh, losing to the Braves as long as we're competitive. I'd love to beat this series and actually you know win them, um, but oh my gosh, yeah, the National League is just all over the place. Look look at this number: seven fifty winning percentage for the Dodgers. Are you kidding me? Have you noticed what they're doing in the baseball reference simulations? By the way, they're I haven't actually. They're 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 on a. 2000 and whatever Mar 2001 Mariners winning percentage right now. Oh, that's right, because they started off the season like really, really good, which was unheard of for a lot of people. Just ridiculously more wins than they were expecting. It, it was it was hilarious. I remember watching them finally get overtaken in first place. I think it was by the, I think it went by them in the, the Phillies though at that point. But either way, I do remember when the Marlins finally lost first place like two or three weeks into the season, and everyone was all upset about it. That was funny. All right. So what do you want to look at with the lineups? I mean, I think we're good with the with the, the lineups. I it's going to be the pitching rotations that I'm more concerned about. All I want right. to make sure that going into the Milwaukee Brewers series that we're throwing our best people forward so that Oof. way we have a good chance of beating them. Look at that. It isn't going to matter. I'm sorry? Everyone's Ooh, everyone tired. is tired. Otani is pitching and he's yeah. tired. We're going to have to throw Martez then. Um, okay. Because I'm, I'm assuming Otani... Actually, check Otani's uh, fatigue really fast. Go to his profile page. 
Um, he might be tired as a hitter, but not tired as a pitcher. No, he's tired as a pitcher. Oh, gosh. Wow, he's even had four days rest. Did That's weird. Uh, normally, they're good to go after four days. We're going to have to throw Martez today, because uh, nobody else is ready to go. That's kind of scary, actually. That's um, That's a little scary. I think we get a day off after the Braves series, though. No, we don't. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Uh, we may end up having to make a, a, a move for a relief pitcher that's another long relief pitcher or something. Um, oh, gosh, that, that bullpen's all over the place. Um, we need to make Otani a long relief pitcher. We need to make Helsley... A setup. He's not supposed to be long relief. And we need to make... Um, that's about it, to be honest. As long as they're both set up that way. That's about right. Probably could change Helsley's um, secondary role from emergency starting pitcher to middle relief pitcher, though. Just so that we were not using him as a starting pitcher. All right. We still have Cabrera. Yeah, we still have Cabrera ready to go, too. But he he's still tired. Um, so it's going to come down to Villena's, uh, probably Helsley, Houston, Martez, and Martinez to try to win this game against uh, Atlanta. Let's see what happens. You ready? Yeah, let's see what we can do. Do you want to review the lineups or you want to just finish yeah, today? Let's go ahead and review. Oh, wait, we don't have games. a game today. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we didn't finish the day first. Right, okay. <laughs> That's why everyone's still tired. Okay. Okay. That'll help. Otani is back at the starting position, right? Yes. Um, if he's if he's ready to go, I don't know he's if he's... He's at 96% he's... rested now for pitching. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, if he's 96%, he's good to go. Yep. He's just below perfect at this point so we're back to normal go ahead and make martez go back to a uh, long relief he'll he'll double up with romero on the long relief end okay and that's good now now we've got uh alzale and um unfortunately it's going to be alzale and castillo finishing up games two and three against uh, atlanta but that is kind of what i'd like to throw against atlanta in all honesty all right uh would be those two guys so that's good we'll throw otani today we can go ahead and just simulate that. Everything else looks good. Of course, we have an important message to look at first. Right, the all-star voting. Just the voting? Okay. I don't have to worry about that then at this point. Ooh, Hearn's done for the season. Ooh, that's a good prospect being done for uh, Kansas City. That'll be tough. All right, so... Lineup look good. I mean, we're still waiting for... Um, for Yoshi to come back, again, just one more person who's such a key component to our lineup. Once Yoshi right. comes back, oh, we're going to be on fire. All right, so I, shall I just say finish the day? Yeah, we can go ahead and just finish the day and see how the team performs against Atlanta at right. Atlanta. Here we go. We lose 8-2. to two. Ah, Not what I wanted to see on the first game at Atlanta. Nope. Five, uh, four runs in the fifth. Ooh. And then three more in the eighth, just for yeah. added, added pleasure. So it got to Otani uh, in the fifth inning, probably. Yep. And then Martez Not getting threw a lot two of and offense a third good, from... and then Houston was bad. So Martez uh, was Houston good, couldn't... Houston was bad. Okay. Good to see Martez doing well. Yes, that's, that's, it is. that's good. Um, that's our long leaf people. That's going to be the people we want to have not blowing up games and keeping us competitive. So, unfortunately, that's just, yeah, it's just bad offense from us, and they got to two of our pitchers, and we couldn't answer if anything else. Camargo had a good-looking day, three for five of three RBIs. That's just a shame. All righty. So, on to the next game, unfortunately. All right. We'll do it again. We'll just go right to the schedule. If we can check the pitching real fast, just to make sure that we have the right starter going we got today. Yeah, Alzale going. Yeah, so it's going to be Alzale's day. And we have a good, well, we've got a decent amount of relief pitchers left to be able to throw out at this point. Valena, yeah. Stevenson, Martinez, and Helsley. So if we're winning, we'll be in a good place right. to win. Moya's got to turn around that ERA, though. We're, we are, we have burned Moya way too many times. He's our he's our uh, escape goat pitcher, but, man. All right. You got to give him better opportunities. I'm going to press the button. Let's go for it. 
Uh, we got a personal message. That's what we got. Hold on a second. I want to know if we won or not. My goodness. We did. We did. We Five did. To Five to two. All yeah. right. Hooray. <laughs> All right. How did we do it? We got a uh, Otani had a home run. So that's good. Nice. Drove There's the through. offensive production to back up. Uh, what kind of a start did uh, Alzale give us today? Six innings, one earn. That's what I'm talking that's, about. That's good. That's Ooh. really good. And then Stevenson, Helsley, Martinez, all no earned Perfect. runs. Look at Martinez. Perfect. Look at this guy. This guy is amazing. 0.55? Five, five? Good grief. Although, Rich, those two errors by Riley, oh, gosh, that's that's not good. 0.55 ERA in 30 appearances. 33 and innings, 10.4 K per nine innings. He's still topping his career high K per nine right now, which is great. My goodness. He is oh. unstoppable. Unbelievable. All right. So I kind of wish he was a starter, but oh, well, oh, well, we'll take him as our, we'll take him as our closer. Cause All right. and our we together. are still four back and we, we picked up a half a game in the wild card now. So we're gaming. Okay. Half that's back. decent. That's decent. All right. So we'll be throwing Castillo against Soroka, which is going <laughs> to be a tough matchup. Excuse me. Um, it's inside. Um, Thank you. And we're only one week left until we get Yoshi back. So, oh boy, we'll get Yoshi back in time for the Cubs series. That's going to be good. That's going to be very good. Um, All right. Pitching yeah, who's going. We got Castillo, right? Castillo is a hot. Yep. Castillo has been actually doing pretty well outside Absolutely. of his injury at the beginning of the season. He's been very good for a pitcher. Yep. 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 All right. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you, chat. Uh, all right. I'm just going to finish the day. Are we ready? We are all set. Let's go ahead and do this last game against the Braves. And we, was that a win? I think it was a win. It keeps going back here. It was a win in 10 innings. We take two out of three yes. from the Braves in Atlanta. That's fantastic. Oh, success. And in, it took That's extra innings. I will take it. <laughs> Mookie Betts had two homers. Two home runs for Mookie Betts. Wow. That's huge. 45 um, actually, and 35. One was a, 10 games was it over a 500. Was a solo home run? What's that? Let me see. Bets had, yeah, no one on. Oh, no, he did no have one. two homers. You're two, right. Two solo Nicely. home runs. God. Yep. And a double. Yep. Wow. Fantastic. There's the Mookie bets that we were looking for all this time. Otani had a stolen base and was caught stealing, as was Mookie Betts. Uh, Castillo, wow. six innings, two earned runs. That's fantastic. Stevenson, two shutout innings. Martinez finally, finally blows oh. a save. Oh. That's okay. His ERA balloons to 0.79 for the year. <laughs> and we still get the win. We still come back. He picks he up the vulture the win. Game. He, he gets the so ball saves, gets, but he picks yeah, up he'll the get vulture the win. win. Yeah, amazing. And that's okay. That's okay. Oh, my he's gosh. He's probably that's really, great. really tired, and he probably needs some time off. He probably shouldn't have been thrown there. It probably should have been Helsley to give him a day off. Um so, yeah. so now we are three games back of the Pirates. So by winning two out of three, we pick up a full game on the Pirates. So that's nice. Nice. And we are we are a game and a half behind uh, three other teams for the two wild cards. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's so it, we're in the, the Mets we're and Nationals the are yeah. they're tied. So Mets and Nationals are duel dueling it out in the, uh, yep. the East. And then the Cardinals are basically our main competitor right now. If we can catch the Cardinals, we've got this. So exactly. this, these next three games against the Brewers, we need to keep them down. If you look at that uh, division graph on the right above Rich's head, you'll notice the Brewers are the bottom one. They are resurging right now, and the Cubbies are dropping again. So we need to keep the Brewers down and keep the Cubs down so we have space between us and the bottom two people on this division. Um, we've got to be able to do that. On a really happy note, I love looking at our miners and seeing the Billy Mustangs at 11 and 1 and the Daytona to Tortugas at 50 and 27. That's great news. That means that, that our miners, news. all those development players, are doing good. Yeah. So that's a good sign for us. Okay. Indeed. So we probably don't want to play this first game against Milwaukee as right. it's going to be Genesis Cabrera. Right. I think we probably end up playing with Gray. Yep. 
All right, so should I just go ahead and uh, hit the button? I think we're good sure. to. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good to simulate. We got four games against Milwaukee, so yeah. we've got a four-game series here. We want to win at least three of these. We we really need to win at least three of these. Um, we probably should be giving Martinez a day off. He is absolutely burned. Um, so. And oh, and we, we lost, lost. five four. Hmm. That's ah. Uh, and we lose. Yeah. I'm just hoping it wasn't a blown save. It wasn't. We we got down early and then couldn't climb okay. all the way back. Couldn't we, manage to come back against the Brewers. Bummer. Yeah. A lot of hits though. I like the hits, but. Uh, Votto, uh, yeah. oh no, Riley with two RBI. Okay, Riley making his case to at least get playing time, so that's good. I I, I like to see Oof. Riley being able to um, at least perform well for us. Cabrera, five earned in five and two thirds. That hurts. Ouch. Just, he had a lot of his stuff going, eight strikeouts, but man, he got hit all over the place. Yeah actually had a really good performance from Moya, Houston, and Helsley. Uh, what is that? That's almost four innings of no-run no, no baseball. Yeah, great bullpen. Yeah. Man, if only Cabrera can, you know, limit his, his rough outing to maybe three runs, you, you, you win that ball game. Yep, indeed. Bummer. All righty, well... That'll lead us up in, into uh, the game today against uh, Brandon Woodruff and the Milwaukee Brewers. So it'll be Sonny Gray throwing today, I believe. So did we want to do Gray or Alzale? Because I wouldn't mind I... doing the Alzale game. Okay. We could do the Alzale game if you'd like to. I think he throws tomorrow. Yes. Unless it's Otani throwing tomorrow. Nope, it's Alzale um, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could simulate the game against Woodruff if you wanted to. He's definitely the best uh, Brewers pitcher. Right. So he's going to be the one that can neutralize us the most out of anybody. And Peralta's already got the plus five ERA. So he'll be the person we probably want to hit off of anyways. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, do, let's play the game this way. Let's just go in and look at the lineups here real quick. Uh-huh. So we've got... Let's uh, see what we've got here now. Is there anybody I would replace? I I, I did notice that um, uh, Posey's a little bit tired, but he's already been taken out. So Grulon is gonna is gonna play today, unfortunately, because Posey's a little bit tired. Right. Um, I would probably move Betts into the four hole, uh, and put Votto into the three hole. Okay. Or maybe maybe we shouldn't do that. Betts has been doing really well in that three hole right now, and he's. Probably getting ample opportunities to be able to score runs. I'll I'll leave it up to you, Rich. Who do you think should be three, four, and they're in our lineup right now? Um, I want Botto to get one more at bat, so I want him second. Yeah. Bats third, Adamas fourth. I mean, Adamas doesn't have much power, right? No. He's not really a power hitter, no. so unfortunately, that's not Riley's his forte. A power hitter, so I'm going to put him four, and then okay. I might even put Grulon five, who can also slug it. That's true. It's not a bad idea. And then Adamas and Reyes. And then do you want to put in Billy Hamilton for Posh because Posh is ice cold? Um, sure. Let's give uh let's give Posh the day off. All right. Um let's do it. See if Hamilton can spark that lower half of the lineup with some offensive production. And I'm going to uh simulate the game from here. All right? Okay. Are we you can ready? Simulate the entire game. Yep. Entire game. Here we go, and we win. We win, four to one. Very good. Sonny Gray pitches well. Hooray. Nice. And Martinez That's gets the save, right so there. he bounces back as well. Martinez good. With, uh, with a good save, number 21. Very good. Homers so. by Riley. Good choice there, Rich. Putting Riley in the four hole, and All he right. pops off of a two run homer. I Good like that. choice. Thank you. Hey, you're you know you've taught me well, my friend. You know you gotta uh, just look and yeah, see what's yeah, going yeah. on. 
I mean, it's kind of a coin flip. You, you kind of need to know, Absolutely. you know, okay, what's the best option? But at the same time, you want to give Riley those opportunities to hit those home runs because if he does, that's multiple runs. Absolutely. You know, if Botto and Betts are getting on base, if Sansell's getting on base, you give a guy like Riley chances to score runs and drive home runs, oh, it's going to be good if he does. So that's great. All right, so two games into the four-game series, we split the first two. Yes. And Sonny Gray gets the win, so he moves to, what is he now? He's six and two, but two point one eight ERA. And then now we get we got Alzale today. Yep. So going for win number. Fun. Oh, actually, it's going to be Otani because I think Alzale is still tired. Oh, you're but, right. Um, it is we'll Otani. Get, uh, All right, we'll play we'll with get, Otani. Uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll do the game with Otani pitching. That's cool. Okay. Or we could do Alzale tomorrow against Porcello. Um, either or would probably be just fine. Let's go Otani. Why not? Okay. Let's see Otani pitch. I actually haven't yeah. seen this guy pitch yet. Um, love to be able to see him operate against the Brewers. All right, so we got the same sort of situation here. Posey is back in. Um, I'll put yes. Riley back in the four hole, right? Why not? He earned earned it hitting that home run. I think run. he earned it after the game yesterday. Yeah, if he can keep hitting the homers, that uh, that four thirty five batting or uh, slugging percentage is is good. That that's our best person to slot there. Posh is still cold. I forgot. What did Hamilton do yesterday? I missed I it. actually didn't even notice what Hamilton did yesterday. Ah, well, that's all right. We'll, uh, we we got to give Posh at bats, so. Yeah, all right. I was going to say we won. I would keep Christian won, so. in at this point. Okay. All right, we'll do that. All right, and Otani's pitching. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Let's do this. Let's see what Otani can do against a fairly potent Brewer offense. Let's see. They're still being led mostly by Yelich at this point. 14 home runs, 18 stolen bases, 348 batting average. So uh, we uh, the the Brewers lead off, and it's a bunt and an error, and now a man on second with uh, nobody oh, out. So that's gosh. unpleasant. Was that on Votto? Uh, on one, either Votto or Otani, I think. Oh, it wow. was on Vod. Oh, it was on. Oh, it was on the uh, catcher actually. It was on Posey. Uh, he threw it away. Yeah, that's not a good start. Okay. Well, we just gotta be able to pitch to to Arcia at this point. Yep. Gotta look for a strikeout here. And that's not gonna be a strikeout. That's a gapper. So he uh, has a double. So that drives in a run. He stands at second with nobody out. Perfectly placed for Yelich to be able to burn us even more. That's right. a, this is a great start. <laughs> great he start strikes out, so we're good. Yay! There. Okay. Here's McCutcheon. One one pitch to him, and that is a base hit. Looks like the run will oh. score. The run will score, and it's two nothing. Arcia's fast. All, All right, right, it's going to be an offensive day. Unfortunately, we're going to have to score more than five runs. We're going to go double play depth, right? Yep, we'll try to play depth against uh, against Pena. And we'll hold the runner, and that is a ground ball. Should be one, and it's one. Should have been two. Is one. Two outs, man on second. Lowry at the plate. Okay, Lowry. I don't think there's any reason to not just go right after yep. Lowry at this point. Struck him out. So, nice. not the worst okay. inning. Could have been worse. Two nothing. Yeah, we could have gotten burned by Yelich, and that would have probably been a really bad first inning. So right. we got chances to come back and make this caught up. Absolutely. Here's Senzel. And he uh, grounds over to the first base side, and that'll be one out. At least he didn't strike out. Senzel has trouble not striking out right now. So I'll, I'd rather see him put the ball in play every single time he gets up to bat. Vado works a full count, but then strikes out. Ah... Here's Mookie Betts, who also works a full count. And he walks. So he's okay, on first we'll take with the two walks. outs for Riley. Chance to go big or go home here. Good spot for the youngster to hit a bomb. He does hit the ball, but he hits it over to short and over to second. Ah. And that's the end of the inning. All right. Let's see what we got here. Otani versus Rojas. Yeah, we should be able to go after the bottom half of their lineup. Um, not expecting there to be anyone that we have to pitch differently. Well, there's one strikeout. Uh, nice. To start. Nice. 
Oh, one counter. Level one Otani can bring the 100 mile per hour gas. Yeah. Wow. 101. One two pitch. He strikes out. And now here's Peralta. 3 1. That's a uh, well hit ball to right, but the play will be made. So three outs. He so went three, up, three, three one down. on the pitcher? Yeah. <laughs> and the pitcher ripped it. Oh, gosh. Wow. Peralta almost had, had a gapper right he there. Did. Well, we didn't play the outfield in on that play. Adamas grounds out to third. Here's Posey. Gotta start putting some people on the base path here, guys. Gotta get some runners on. Posey rips a base hit to right. He'll be there at first with one away. Very nice. Here's Reyes. One two count. And he grounds it up the middle. The shortstop steps on second for one. That's all they'll get. Man on okay. first with two outs for Otani. Good you chance to, here for Otani. Uh, you want to hit right here for any reason? Um, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Why not? Hitting and running. Otani swings and misses, but uh, we get to second. Ray okay. Reyes is at second with that good speed. Yeah, good speed. Good chance for a single here. Might score a run. Otani works a full count, and he walks. Okay. And now here is Posh, <sighs> who we were debating whether to put him in well, or not. I mean, he, it was either him or Hamilton, so yeah. I'll take Posh here. One and two count to Posh, and that is strike three. No, ah. no, no, no. no. <sighs> I mean, you could have thought about doing a bunt there, but I don't no. think you have. That's just that. That's our nine hole hitter. Yep. Where we should have had our, you know, that should have been Senzel or somebody else who could put the ball in play. That's frustrating. Ah. Uh, Bertle strikes out. Good. I like it when Otani is on his game and striking people out. That's that's good. Arcia flies out to right. Two outs for Yelich. Ooh, had a 3-1 pitch, too. Yelich. All right, uh, we should probably... Oh, go hmm. ahead. What were you going to say? I was going to say we should probably pitch around Yelich. Just I was going to say, don't but... give up a long home run to Yelich. Is that what you were, what you were going to say? Uh, kind of. Luckily, yeah. we, we did not give up a long home run, but we did give up <gasps> Rich, a very the, long the out. the replay is three seconds behind <laughs> the know. play. I thought you were serious. <laughs> I'm sure you did. No, that was just a very long fly ball. I got nervous. You gave me a heart attack. I got nervous. <laughs> But that's the end of the inning. Oh. That's the end of the inning. Oh, good grief. Okay, good. Woo! <laughs> Here's Senzel. Just watching, the, just watching the ball fly, and I'm like, oh, please. Senzel no. has a leadoff double. Oh, nice. That's what you want. He hit it well. Very well. Good. All right. Good. Senzel has such good gap power. Here's Joey Votto. All right, guys. Let's get them started now. Full count to Votto. And he walks. First and second. Nobody out. Got some now things cooking Now they got to go here. against some good people. All right, Betts. What you can do now? One and one count to Betts. And that is a fly ball to shallow center field. And the runners will not advance. That's a not ah, a good out. That's a bad out. That's just a lazy summer fly ball right there. Here's Riley. That doesn't help nobody. Again, in that cleanup hole, and he hits the ball down to first, over to second for one. They do not get the double play, and it's first and third with two outs. Ooh, okay. Um, that puts it in the lap of Posey, right? Nope, Adamas. Adamas, oh. I would have preferred Posey, yeah. but we'll take Adamas here if a chance. Adamas has a 2-2 count. He grounds it down to first. The play is made. Nope, there's an error. So a run scores. Yes! A run scores. Everyone is safe. First and second, two outs for your man Posey. Nice. Let's see if Posey can do something here. I'm um, I'm behind the video because I watched the stream to see the actual replay. Uh, we do voice chat, but I had to watch the actual stream to see what happened. So Rich can fool me into thinking something's happening before it actually does. Either purposely or not purposely, whatever. However you want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, he lined out. Bummer. All right. Well, we got the one run. I like that. I prefer to see us probably make two runs out of that kind of an inning, but um, I'll take the one on the air. That's that's a good start for us. Let's see if Otani can keep moving like he's been doing so far.
Our gold glove center fielder makes it look easy. This is just child's play for Potch. <laughs> no, Votto. Bad day for Votto. Sorry about that, gang. I was muted. Sorry, chat. My bad. Not muted anymore. Um, so now uh, it's man on first, two outs, and. All Rojas. right. So it's just Rojas. We just we got to get Rojas, Rojas out right here. Yep. All right. Oh no! It's a four pitch walk. Oof! All right. That air just ruffled up uh, Otani a little bit. All right. So Ray is at the plate. We've got shift right guarding third. Yeah. And Cor and uh, Otani at uh, sixty one pitches and starting to get into the yellow zone. Yeah, he probably won't go more than five or six at max at this point. All right, we're just pitching, right? I think we just pitched away. We got to get him out here. Two and one. That is hit a high fly ball in the left field, and the play is made. So a time gets right. out of it. Woo. Okay. All right. Let's All right. get some runs, boys. Come on. Got to get a couple more runs. Get this game back in our favor. Reyes leads off with the ground ball to short. One away. Oh, they have a new pitcher in already. Roney comes in. Brad Roney is the new pitcher. Oh, wow. They put a new pitcher in already. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's another righty, so that isn't going to change anything about our strategy, unfortunately. Otani's Still gotta be able to Get some base runners here. Come on. He strikes out. That's not getting base runners on the bases. <laughs> you want to bunt with Posh? If the... Uh, mm, you know what? Uh, how good is the third baseman? Lowry? He's good. Um, He's good. We could give it a try. I don't think Posh is exactly the best bunter right, in the world. All right, I'll just swing away then. That's fine. And that is a fly ball to left field. And there you go. One, two, three. Bummer. All right, top five, Otani versus Roni. Okay. Um, so we'll have the pitcher spot and then the top of the order. We should probably start warming somebody up in case Otani starts to have problems here. Okay, who do you want to warm up? We should probably be warming up a long relief pitcher if we can. So if uh, Martez. Romero or Martez is ready, or uh, sorry, uh, ready to go. Yeah, we can warm either up. Who, who, let's go Romero, would, right? Yeah, I would start with Romero if, we, right. if we had to. Um, they don't have any lefty sections of their lineup, so we're not really going to be able to utilize Miller today unless we want to have him finish an inning against the left-handed batter right um and take a risk at that point so he would basically be in our situation or in our pocket to neutralize yelich if we had to got it um so we'll keep using otani until he pretty much is done for the right. day and then we'll probably be bringing in romero okay i'm good with that well that's a strikeout nice two away nobody on for arcia and it's a one two count to him and that is grounded to short so it's a one two three inning for otani he might get himself the six inning now um, yes, he will absolutely be starting the sixth inning, at least. Uh, we're not going to be able to go against uh, Yelich of a lefty and then have a bunch of, you know, right-handed hitters coming after that. So, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to pitch around uh, Yelich when we get to him, but that'll be okay. Sintel strike out, strikes out, and then Votto <sighs> walks. So Votto is at first with Betts at the plate and one away. Okay, good chance here to put something in play from Betts. He's swinging at the first pitch, Alex. And that is hit to left field. The play will be made by the left fielder. Easy play. Ah. Two I was like, Roni's getting tired. This is a good chance to make some good contact. Here's Riley. He's swinging at the first pitch. The youngster. And he hits a fly ball to left field. Easy play for the left fielder. So ah. an unfortunate end. Um, Just can't right. drive anything. A lot of high fly balls, unfortunately. So here's Otani to Yelich. Did you want to do anything special here? We should definitely pitch around Yelich. He could burn us really easily here. All right. So he pitches around to the walk, and Yelich okay. is at first. I mean, in the end, I will take that walk versus him absolutely mashing a ball someplace. 
Now, they um, want to shift left. Do you want to do double play depth? He's an extreme pull hitter, so I actually like the extreme shift to the left, okay. or just even the shift left, because um, okay. we're going to have to pitch to McCutcheon here. You could try to hold the runner on the yeah. pitch, though, in case Yelich wants to go. Exactly. It's a 3-1 count here, and that is a pop fly, and the second baseman will make the catch. Okay, good. We didn't walk him at least, so that's good. All right, so now we're double play depth to Pena with one away and a man on first. Perfect. Pena is a, I believe he's a pull hitter, but he's also more oh, of a ground running. ball hitter, I believe. He's running on the one two count, and he gets in there, so now Yelich is at second. Ah, oh, we should have been holding the runner. I thought I. Oh, well. Yeah, I forgot to. Full count. We can, uh, we can, we can pitch to Pena and yep. get the out here. And we did. So two good. outs. Good. And now okay. here's Lowry. So do we want to let's see Lowry's not exactly the most powerful offensive bat, but um I want Otani to get another at bat, so I'm fine pitching to him here. Yeah, I think we pitched to him at this point. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna pitch. Let's go ahead and do it. Alright. Two two count. And that is a base hit. And is the Ow. one gonna score? The run is coming around, and the run will score. So it's a terrible decision by me. Uh, so now the well, question is: Well, I mean, the alternative would have going? been would have been to walk him and get to Rojas. Um, but I don't think that would have resulted in anything much much better, unfortunately. All right, well, we're pitching the Rojas, right? Yeah, yeah. I want I want Otani to get out of this inning if possible. It's a full count to Rojas, and he strikes out. So there you there go. There you go. That's what should have happened to the last. I mean, bat three runs in six innings ah. is from Otani. You know, the, that's not the worst, right? That should. It's be not the worst. We got a the errors. Those errors are killer. We've had too many errors resulting in runs. Got to get yep. some offensive uh, production from our guys at this point. Left-handed pitching. Will Smith comes in. Okay, interesting. This is going to make this interesting. That's a lazy fly ball to right field and one away. Got to put the ball in a line drive position, guys. So many pop flies we've had today. Posey on the 1-2 pitch will fly out to deep center field, but still an easy play. Reyes will walk on four pitches. So Reyes is at first with two outs okay. for Otani. I would actually keep Otani into exactly, hit because technically right? he's actually a better hitter than any of our pinch exactly. hitters. Exactly, yeah. So he's <laughs> he works a full count, and he strikes out. Oh, I was hoping for a home run to tie it. Then he All right, be in Otani's line for a still in there. Do you want him to pitch to Ray? Um, we have Ray in the pitcher spot. Or do you want me to bring in? Which is designed right now to be Tyler Austin. Um, they've done a double switch with their offensive people. So it's actually Austin coming in for the nine hole at this point. Um, make sure I know Austin's ratings before we encounter him. Who's, who's the guy for us who's ready? Is it Moya? It's uh, Romero. Romero's the one that has been warmed up already. No, he's cold. We probably. He's cold. I'm sorry. They're both cold. Oh, he's cold now. Yeah. Oh, well, we better get him warming up again then. Yeah, he am. probably was sitting for about an inning or so. Right. All right, so we're okay. pitching to Ray, right? I think we have to pitch to Ray and Austin at this point. Um, I don't see any reason not to, in all honesty. All right, so that is a slow ground ball to short, but the play is made. One away. Nice. Tommy's up to nice. 105. Tyler Austin is hitting. Okay, so Austin is a power hitter, so we should probably pitch around him if possible. All right. Pitching around, 0-2, oh and, and he strikes out. So that's two outs. And that's why you pitch around him. Yeah. Here's Bertel. Okay, so this is where we might need to think about um, making sure we don't get burned by... Uh, by anybody here. So this is... Let me see if I can get to the right people on this list. So they've got... Birdie up at bat at this point. He is a right-handed hitting. Good against lefties. So this is a good matchup for us to go with here for Otani. And yeah. if he can't get Birdie out, then we'll probably make a call and uh, do a mound visit and got then him. see if we pull in somebody else. Uh, it doesn't matter. He gets him. He winds up ah. seven innings and three earned runs. A fantastic outing. Well, not good fantastic, outing. but really good. A good outing. I'm happy with the outing. It, 
it should be good, good enough for a win for most ball clubs. Three yeah. runs, seven innings. That's that's a yeah. that's a quality start, right? Yep. All right, here's Posh. What are we doing here? Um, unless you want to try to do a, a, a bunt attempt, I think hitting is our best option. Otherwise, all right, one zero count to Posh, and he hits a shallow fly ball to left field, one away. Ah, man, so many just weak fly balls. Here's Senzel, and Senzel grounds it right to short, two away. And here's Votto. He's got a 2-2 count. And he hits it really well to left field, but not deep enough. And that's three up, three down. Ah. And it is 3-1 in, uh, in the top of the eighth. Otani's still in there, 115 okay. pitches. He's got to come out now because we're about to face off against the heart of the order at this point. Yep. Who, so who's um, going with Stevenson or Romero? Uh, I'm actually going to leave it up to you, Rich, because Stevenson's a short, short, uh, well, not a short, but a middle relief pitcher. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to give in and put Romero in there like as if we're giving up the game. But Romero's pretty decent. I, I really wouldn't have a problem throwing Romero in on this situation. I'm going Stevenson. Okay. Stevenson is, is the, the win now move, basically. Yep. All right. So he's pitching. So we'll, we're going to pitch to Arcia. Okay. And that is a base hit to right. Ah. So he's a first with nobody out. All right. So we're going to need to hold the runner and um, play double play depth. And then, well, I want to pitch around. Yell it if we can help it, because I do don't both. want him. I can't do both though. So, um, gosh, I would say pitch around and hope that our good catcher can get him out if he runs. All right, one zero count, and it's a ground ball. It's a short over to yes. first for the fielder's choice. One out, man ah. on second. Okay, now here's a good, interesting situation. Do we walk McCutcheon because he's a pretty decent hitter and he could get a single here very easily? to get to Pena, put the runner on, and the force play back into play. Yep. We do. Okay, let's do that then. Let's All go ahead right. and intentionally walk McCutcheon, because yep. he's just he's just too good. So now we got, what do we want? We're good with this, So right? we'll do double play depth for Pena. Okay. And I think we just end up pitching to him. All right, here we go. He's swinging at the first pitch, and that is hit very well. To left field, oh, no. and that is a home run. Ah. Oh. So that wasn't the win now move. No. It was the no, lose now. No, that did not move. result in our favor. Nope. Ah. Oh. And now he walks the next batter. So uh, this has quickly been a disaster for Stevenson. Yeah, not going well here for Stevenson, unfortunately. Ryan and Braun is pinch with... hitting. Of course. <laughs> of course they will. We'll go double um, play depth. Yeah, double play depth, and we got a pitch to Braun, unfortunately. One and two to Braun. That's a strikeout. I'll and take that. Now here's Ray. We have a weak shift right. Yep, and we'll go ahead and pitch to Ray as well. And that is a fly ball to left. All right, so 6-1. It's gotten ugly. Just going to quickly ah. blast through this here. Betts has a 3-2 count. Should we have somebody warm it up, by the way, or are we going to stick with this guy for the Um, game? Let's warm somebody up at this point, yeah. Right. Who are we warming up? Let's warm up Moya. All right. Since technically the game's kind of out of reach now, at yeah. this point. Um, it is. Yeah, just, man, that's just one bad at that, and that did it. Yep. And it's just a, a parade of uh, not doing very much until Posey hits one to the wall. So that might score a Ooh. run. Okay. That, nope, it doesn't. So you got second and third uh. with two outs, and Reyes at the plate. Reyes has the plate. Okay, good chance here for Reyes to be able to draw a couple runs in if he can get a single. And he hits it down to third, over to first, and no, he does not. Ah. Uh, 
All right, so do we want Moya to go in there? Or do we want Steve? Yeah, we want Moya to go. I in, would right? bring a go ahead and bring in Moya. Stevenson did not do well. Yeah. Um, just, I mean, it's really just one bad pitch to Pena, yeah. but at the same time, it's three runs. So, yeah. so there's one away. And uh, here's another fly ball to right field. This okay. time the play is made I'll... by the center fielder. Two outs. Yeah, this is a good opportunity here for Moya to be able to drop the ERA exactly. down, have a good outing, get out nice. of his cold streak. The ground ball to third. It's a one, two, three inning for Moya. So we got that going okay. for us, which All is right. nice. Just All haven't right. been able to get the offensive behind us. Bottom nine, do we have a miracle rally? Do we have a miracle <laughs> rally? Do we get a pinch hit for the pitcher first? Yeah, we do. All right, who do they have pitching at this point? They've got uh, Williams in to pitch. Yep. So I don't actually know if that's a lefty or a righty. That is a righty, okay. So Williams is a right-handed pitcher. Um, so we'll probably, I mean, I think we'll still be ending up using... Hamilton, um, right? Uh, yeah, it would be Munez still at this point. Oh, Munez? Okay. All right. Yeah. We could really use a um a good left-handed batting pinch hitter. That would be definitely something to think about down the road. Okay. Oh, wow. Well hit, but just right at the third baseman. Posh hits it uh to deep uh, left field. The play is made. And Senzel and is up. One. Two outs in the ninth and Senzel hits a fly ball out to center field, and the play will be made. The Reds lose six to one. Oof. Six to one. We're just gonna get out. We're going. Yep. We're going. The errors and the lack of offense. Just let's just not keep going. Let's keep going. Can we win the game? I'm gonna say finish today, and I just uh, want to hit yeah. the button to see if we can, we can win. Just Ready? I can make sure we have the correct pitching staff at this point going. It should be Alzelay, though. So. It is. Okay, good. Then, yes, we can go ahead and see if we win this game. Come on. Let's split the series. We do not. We lose 2 nothing. Ooh, shut oh, out by Porcello. Gosh. Alzelay pitches well, of course. How do you not? He gives up one earn in five and a third. The offensive woes continue and more errors. Votto and again, Posey Votto with errors. Votto and Posey again. Unfortunate like the, day. The two people who have gold gloves and are not known for doing errors are botching. Just routine plays. <sighs> Ouch. All right. So we are here, July 6, 2020. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. Yep. I think that's a good spot to end. And I think next week we'll do the Chicago tour of the White yes. Sox and the Cubs. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll, 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 we'll keep rolling at this pace. Anything you want to do before we call it a night here, Mr. Murray? Um, do you want to do the all-star voting by I any chance? I think I do. Let's do that real fast. Let's give right. ourselves some chances to look around the league, see how people are doing. Let's do it. I love it. We can love also it. let the viewers be able to see exactly who is having phenomenal seasons around us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, so how do we do this? So the way that I normally do all-star voting, and this can you know change depending upon the person who's doing it, but I almost always look at the WAR numbers first. I know some people may not like that, but the WAR is almost always your best first glance observation of who is doing really gosh darn well. Um, for example, Kluber on this list right off the bat, 3.4 WAR. Can That's I sort by that? Really good, um, and it pairs up well with his 12 and two record and you know sub Am I, three can ERA. I, can I sort by that on here? I can't. Can Unfortunately, I? you can't sort by the statistics. It just lists the players. Yeah. I don't even know if I think it's alphabetical by last name, I think is what it is. Um, that might be something to actually ask the developers about to see if we could add some kind of a sorting system to this listing. Do you, do you know uh, the developers? Do you know any of them? 
I mean, I think I may have some emails I could okay. send some people or something like that. I, right. I've heard whispers of people I need to get in touch with, so I, I may have some people. Good. <laughs> um, but I think, yeah, Eduardo Rodriguez looks like he's having a pretty good season of his 2.89 ERA. Um, unfortunately, wins are going to be a big influence for WAR, so you do need to take the WAR values with a grain of salt. Um, but for people like Barrios and Carrasco near the top of that list with their 2.5, 2.6s, I wouldn't even touch them because their ERAs are upwards of three. So I wouldn't even go for any of them personally. Um, I normally look at the whip, the ERA, and the strikeouts per nine innings, and the WAR. And if they all look top notch, I, I would go for those people at that point. Yeah, sorting would be very helpful. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, nice. ask Alex right here. Alex, can you uh, can you do something? Can you like submit a ticket for that? <laughs> that would be <laughs> awesome. Inception ticket and yeah. uh, asking it about myself. Yes, yes. No, and then we'll <laughs> route it to Matt. Yeah, yeah, I'll just send it his way and be exactly. like, hey, we have an official ticket from yes, somebody. <laughs> we do. Um, so looking at this list, I would say, yeah, it definitely needs to be Kluber. I would have Kluber added to this uh, as our as our pick personally. Um, I wouldn't pick anybody on the right side looking at the first glance over all of these people. Okay. Um, all the way down to Piamps. I, I wouldn't pick any of those guys because their ERAs are just so inflated right now. Um Blake Snell, right? Snell, yes. Snell's been very good. I would definitely have him included. That 2.15 ERA is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, that is great. That is an instant shoo-in for, for All-Star. And then it's got to be Rodriguez. It, we could look at Paulino, but he hasn't had a whole lot of time. Only 46 innings pitched, so... I don't think that's really all-star caliber, so I, I would say Eduardo Rodriguez yeah, is the third candidate that. at this point. Cool. All right. And that would be it for starters. We can move on to the relief pitchers. Now we're doing just the American League right them. now, right? I'm sorry? We're doing the American League right now, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're just doing the American League, and then we'll switch over and do the National League. We'll run through the American League really quickly. We're not going to care so much about them. Right. For relief pitchers, I, I look at a combination of ERA and whip, and then if they are a closer, that's a, that, that's nice. I always have a good closer. Um, but then a little bit of war is actually really helpful here as well. So, for example, uh, Brad Hand on the right side with his almost sub-2 ERA and his 25 saves is really good. And then, unfortunately, we do need to have Amir Garrett added to the list. Why do you say Cause unfortunately? Because that's the person we traded earlier yeah, in the season. You know, you want you gotta you want to get quality. <laughs> you gotta give quality, right? Yeah, yeah. He's making us look bad, though, Rich. <laughs> that might be the first trade I actually think we actually lost. Look, as point. long as I ignore the press, um, everything is fine. That's true. That's true. That's true. But that seventeen point six K per nine innings is just ridiculous. Uh, Tanner Scott's also been doing well for K for nine innings, but he has a bad ERA, so I, would, I probably wouldn't go for him, to be all honest. Um, Taylor Rogers on the left side is pretty decent. I would look at doing him. Um, Darwin Hernandez is a good war, but he has a 3.96 ERA, so I, I, I wouldn't go for that, personally. Um... Presley's not bad. He's been doing very well for Houston. Roberto Azuna has been doing pretty well for Toronto. Um, huh. but we only have one spot left. What about Presley? I think Presley's a pretty good uh, example of an all-star at the moment. He's got the 23 saves, uh, the 2.3 ADRA, uh, yep. the 12.4K, and he only, only had two losses. So And Brad Hand. Oh, we got Brad good. Hand already. Yeah, we're good. All right, good. Yeah, I, I, that's pretty much the best people on the list right now. So All right. Uh, I think that looks great. So let's do catchers. Let's do catchers. So this is a cool way for us to kind of see who's been doing well in the league at this point, and uh, if there's anybody interesting or anybody that we might be interested in trading for as well. So it's kind of like scouting for us as well. So unfortunately, I really like James McCann. I, I think he's actually better than Gary Sanchez right now, even though Gary Sanchez has 27 home runs. I love me a catcher that's hitting 300, has the 132 WRC, you know, the even if it's only eight home runs. I'm good um, with that. 
you just you don't see catchers hitting 300. Look at this list, guys. Look at how many people are batting 100 or like 195, 191. There's just there's so many people who are terrible, terrible hitters. Um, you gotta be able to love that. And McCann's not a bad fielder either. He's actually pretty good, so it's a good choice. All right. First base. Wow, not a lot of okay. choice. Like, n nothing jumps out. First base is tough, because you've got someone like Guriel. He's probably one of the best people. Olsen's got Olsen 23 is probably homers. the other. Um, yeah, Guriel's got nine homers, 138. Olsen, yeah. 23 home runs. That's a lot of home runs. I, I'd give it to Olsen, personally. I think he's also a gold glove first baseman, there so go. he's got good defense to match that power slugging ability. All right. And then we'll move on to second base and see what we can find about second baseman now. Wow, look at Guriel. 326, 17. Yes. Guriel is him, popping right? off. Um, it's either that or Altuve, but I'm going to give it to a guy hitting 326 Absolutely. with 17 home runs. No I mean, doubt. Done. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. You will want to at least double check on Nolan Fontana. I mean, he hasn't had a whole lot of at-bats, but just let chat know about this kid from Texas. Um, okay. High batting average, no power. 437. He's got a 179 WRC+. What does that mean? Plus. What does a 179 WRC plus mean? Um, it's one of the Saber metric stats that takes a bunch of values and makes it into a uh, one to, uh, 0 to 200 rating, I believe. Okay. I, I think it's that one at least. There's a couple. Spore would be the person to ask that question, unfortunately, okay. about. But I know that's a good number to have. Like, okay. That's fantastic. Um, cool. Cool. But yeah, unfortunately, it does have to go to. Uh, it, it needs to go to to Guriel. He is just having a phenomenal season at this Oof, point. Look at Bregman. My goodness. Yeah, Bregman. Uh, he's having a good year. He's having a very very good year. Moncada's um, having Chapman, a really good year. Chapman might be having a good year too. Yeah, and Ramirez. Yes, uh, you get you have three or four really good third basemen in the American League, and that isn't even including Vlad Guerrero Jr. Wow, look at Ramirez. He's not doing bad, but Ramirez is just doing everything. He is. You know, it's definitely it's Ramirez. Just, He's the guy. It's got to be Ramirez. Yeah, unfortunately, it's got... Well, not even unfortunately. No, it has I mean, to be Ramirez. It has got to be him. He's the guy. It's got to be him. I mean, even Giovanni Urshela is doing well for the Yankees, but he's just way overshadowed by wow. all of these A couple people. of big performances between Lindor and Simmons. Yes, it's going to be between those two. So do you want the hitter, Lindor, or do you want to bring out the fielding, uh, Simmons? Also, Bogarts batting 335, 16 home runs, 176 WRC plus again. Again, just a really good hitter right there. Um, he's got the 4.4 war too. So oh, Thank you. Sharpie says it's weighted runs created. Yes. And then the Giroux says it's set to scale with normal distribution with the average set at 100. Okay, so you want to so, be over 100, and if you get close to, you know, even like 150 or above, you're really, you. really good. Got it. So these 176s are like phenomenal seasons. Yeah. Wow, so, Bogarts, 335. Yeah, yeah Bogarts homers. is having a career year right now. It's got to be him, right? It's got to be Bogarts, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's not a bad, well, he's not a good fielder. He's an average shortstop. But yeah, it's got to be both. 60 is excellent range. Okay, good. All right, left fielder. Left field should be. I don't think Trout's in left field right now. I think he's in center. Okay. So we might actually have a chance here to get somebody new or different. Looks like um, Benintendi, right? 302. Yeah, it's got to be Benintendi. Homers, nine he's stolen, got, 159. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing a good job. I mean, the other person like, I could think of is, is maybe Gallo if it's 25 home runs. Low batting average, um, though. Very low batting average. But, yeah, he's not hitting well. Um, yeah, it's it's got to be uh, it's gotta be Benintendi. Where was Glaber Torres? He's a shortstop, right? Um, Glaber is, I think, the second baseman for the Yankees? Or is he the shortstop? No, he's at second Hold base. On. He was at a 1-0 war. 255, 17 home runs. Very impressive. So, he's been doing okay, but he's Torres not is. hes not doing what a lot of people think he was going to be doing. So He's no uh, Guriel. <laughs> right? That's true. I would take Guriel over him right now. 326, 17, although that matches Torres, but 146 to 104. Yeah. 
When so, weighted uh, runs created, now that I know what that means. All right, so here's our left fielder. Where were we? Uh, ben Intendi for left field, I believe. He's All probably right. going to be our best option for that position. All right, center field is... It's it's going to be Trout, unfortunately. What's his... There uh, are a, oh, only a 5-3? Is that it? That's only it? a 5-3. Yeah, on. he's only... He's only, you know, Mike Trout. Come on. All right. Right field. Who else is it? I, I'm just, it's, who's like, if it weren't for Trout, who would the winner be? And it looks like it would be, it's a very, very distant. Yeah. Looks like Fowler maybe, or Brad, Jackie Bradley Jr. But it would have it to be. It could be Kiermaier, technically, be maybe. Fowler like, who? Uh, it could be Kevin Kiermaier from Tampa Bay, but that's mostly just defense. He's not even on here. Oh, there he war. is. Oh, no, you're right. It's uh, are. Yeah, you're right. Two, it nine. would have to be, in my books, it would have to be Fowler. Because uh, he's been having a pretty decent season with 14 right. homers and six stolen bases. And Yeah. But, yeah, center field is completely Trout's um, to just uh, own and do what he pleases with right now. <laughs> and right field, it looks like it's uh, going to be Austin Meadows. Yes, Meadows is having a very productive season so far of Tampa okay. Bay. He's a he's a 30-30 candidate if he gets hot. So, yeah, uh, Meadows is definitely the third per the, the person to put into right field. And the DH. I'm not sure if DH is still J.D. Martinez's or that's Nelson Cruz's still. Yandy Diaz? Yandy Diaz. Yandy Coming Diaz. out of nowhere. 325, 11 homers, 161 weighted runs created. I mean, and that's pretty good considering the next person on the list is DJ with a 350 batting average, um, which is still impressive. But I would take the 11 homers that Yandy's bringing at this point. Yep, I agree. I agree. Who expected uh who expected Mark Trumbo to be batting 305 with eight home runs? Exactly. All right. So I know <laughs> what we're doing in uh I know what we're doing here. We're going Alzale, we're going Sonny <laughs> Gray, and we're going Luis Castillo. Yes. Yes, we're going to be biased. And I feel good about that, by the way. We're I totally going to be biased. I don't even care at this I point. I feel you know good I mean? about it. Not only do, am I I'm like I'm just saying it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel that honestly they should be all stars. So Carlos Martinez to honest, has got to be an all star. It's, it's got to be Carlos. It's got to be Carlos. And um, I don't even know if it should be Romero or no. It's got to be Helsley. Helsley and his uh, 1.93 ERA. Yeah, it's got to be Helsley. There we go. And I got Stevenson. Do we want Stevenson too? Um, no, Stevenson really doesn't deserve it after that last outing, unfortunately. All right, so who are we putting in? Who's the other guy we're putting in? Uh, do we have... Oh, that's the only people that we have re actually have represented on the uh, yeah. relief pitching spot. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. Um, we'll that's have to fine. grab somebody who's a competitor. I, I would probably be Brebia, unfortunately. I'm going Stevenson. Uh, we're going Stevenson. We're going Stevenson. <laughs> Buster Posey's our catcher. Joey Votto's Buster. our first baseman. Yep. yep. Helsley's our, I mean, um, uh, Senzel's our second baseman, even though he's not <laughs> been very good. Yeah, but we're still going to vote for him. It's our choice. Yoshioka's our third baseman. Yep. I mean, I'm going mm -hmm. straight, straight through all of them. Oh, we don't even all get a shortstop on the ballot. That's a shame. So we're going Guillaume for the Mets because it's a terrible vote. Um, why don't we have uh, – wait, why isn't our shortstop on this list? I don't know. But look at Guillaume. 4.34, oh, 340. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at look, look at Louis Guillaume. Holy mackerel. I just clicked him because he was a Met, and he's actually the right choice. Yeah. Oh, no, he actually is the right choice for shortstop right now. Uh, oh. And he's also a really good fielding shortstop too. So My goodness. Thankfully, he's beating out Seeger. So, <clears throat> yay. Go, Galarme. All right. Of uh, course, for left, we have... Should be Reyes? Yep. Yeah. And we don't have a guy for center field? Because we just traded for Poch, unfortunately. We would have had... Um, it would have been Pilar, but Pilar's on the Braves wow, now. Wow, another Met is the most deserving of Brandon Nimmo. 
No, and I'm serious. Sense. He's actually he's actually having a well, good season. Well, Martin, I guess, yeah. has a higher war, so it could be. Yeah, but he's got a much higher weight. Oh, than he's that's right. Oh, you got to go with Martin, though. I mean, seriously, who would have thought a D-backs player in center field nope. coming off a of free agency? I'm clicking would, uh, the buttons. Nope. We're going Matt. <laughs> and we got Let's Mookie Betts over, as our right fielder. And there we go. <laughs> Submit the ballot. Good job, Alex. That was there we fun. go. <laughs> I feel like I did the AL and you did the NL. <laughs> that was fun. Well, it was all us. It was all us. Oh, gosh. All right. So we are going to wrap it up for tonight. This was a lot of fun. Here's where we stand. Woof. We're five and a half games out of first place in the division. We're two and a half games behind the Mets in the wild card. It is July 6th. So next week we're going to do six yes. more games, right? We'll do another week. Yep, should do it on the week. Maybe try to get like a, a week and a half one of these streams. Yeah, to catch up and then do it. the... Uh, well, or we can just do two more weeks and then do an all-star weekend at that Ooh, point. That could be fun. That could be a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah, I want to see the prospects game because we got a lot of kids that are going to be involved in that good. prospects game. And so. the trade deadline is very coming. Exciting. That's right. Exactly. All sorts of good stuff coming. So, all right. Well, this is where we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, guys. For being here you guys are the best community in video games i say it every week because it's true you guys are amazing we appreciate everything that you guys do for us and how you support us uh, alex thank you as always for your fantastic work sir well done you are thank a genius you. i appreciate all of the uh, time that you spend making this so good uh, not just for for me but for everybody that's watching it right i mean just the going through and doing the things you do and it's very helpful to a lot of people. And I know it's helped a lot of people have even more fun playing out of the park baseball and it helps me tremendously. So thank you, my man. Good job. Perfect. Thank you. All right, everybody. Uh, the hockey guys are up tomorrow night, 1030 p.m. Eastern. Uh, excuse me, not 1030, 10 p.m. Eastern. Franchise Hockey Manager 6. And then Thursday night, it's the big night this week in Perfect Team at 9 p.m. And then the Perfect Team playoff push at 10 p.m. Eastern. And uh, Friday is uh, GNR run the Mets, so uh, doing the Mets uh, with me and Gus. Saturday, Alex, you're doing Science Saturday, right? Is yes, we are. Fabulous. Yep. And then Sunday, Perfect Team uh, weekly prep with me at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern. Monday is this week of Perfect Team weekly showdown, and then we're right back here Tuesday with a double header with uh, TJ at nine and Alex and I at ten. Thank you, everybody, for being here. You're the best. We appreciate your time uh, and, uh, and your support. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you again real soon.